welcome back to my channel. I am Cute Little Voice. Today I'm coming in with a wig analysis on this gorgeous unit right here. I really do like this unit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and rate it right quick. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 because it has some um, cons that I'm not too crazy about. But, you know, it's a fixer-upper if you want to get it. And I do think it's worth getting um before we get started if you're new to my channel what are you waiting for make sure you subscribe down below because what this channel is popping so let's get it popping okay so um this is a older unit it came out like some years ago um this is from main concept the red carpet premiere collection and this is um bohemian twist 24 inch in a color 1b so this is the wig on the model ladies. I wanted to pick up um, this color right here, which is the uh, wine color. And that's what I thought I bought. But instead I got the 1B and I'm glad I did because I really, really do like it. So let's get into it. Okay, so I guess we can go ahead and talk about the cons first to get those out the way. And then I'll go into the cap construction. The cons are that... Um, this hair does not have any like four by four parting. You only get this part right here. So it gives the effect of like a crochet unit, which it, you know, you can, you can pull it off like that, especially because you can pull it up. It doesn't look wiggy when you pull it up. Now I will have styling um, options at the end of this video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But um, another thing that I didn't like is that it's super bulky up in here. As you can see on the picture, as you see, that hump, that's pretty much how you're going to get it. So what I had to do was kind of, the hump came like right here. So I had to shift the wig and kind of put this back and kind of like pull the hair down like this. So I can um, minimize that hump so it won't look so bad. So it's not humped up now. So you're going to have to work with this one. It did come with the string. I did cut that string because it looked like... Um, bulky when that string was there so i just cut the string on the side i didn't cut the string in the back because i don't want that area to be exposed um so we'll get into the back of the cap and i'll show you guys exactly how it looks this unit is super full so <laughs> if you don't like big hair you will not like this one i'm gonna pull all the hair to the front wow you see that that is some density lady so you're getting a lot of hair, so if you have a smaller face like mine, it can work for you. It really can. Just pull that hair to the back so it don't engulf your face. So you don't want that hair to overpower your face. So just put a little in the back, and you should be good to go. Let's get into the cap construction. It is a big hair-friendly cap. It does not have any stretch. I did check. It does not stretch at all. Um, but it is, like I said, big hair friendly. You do get the combs by the parting, very small metal combs. You get a parting in the back, I'm sorry, a comb in the back with the, um, adjustable straps. And so this cap is really comfortable. It is on a mesh cap. It's not a wefted cap, so you cannot put your hand through any holes. It's just kind of like on a mesh, mesh cap. Now the, um, twists are pretty. Very neatly done. Um, now you do get the loose hairs at the bottom, which is like a wavy, like a uh, style, like a body wave style, and it's very pretty. Um, over time, I do think that this hair probably will frizz up. Um, so you can probably go ahead and curl it back with some uh, curling rods and kind of dip it in some hot boiling water, and um, you should be good. But um, for right now. You know, it's holding up. It, you know, it doesn't look bad. It's a little frizzy. I feel like over time, like I said, once you play with it and everything, you style it a few different ways, um, it will probably get a little bit frizzy. So I think maybe this one probably will last maybe a year, maybe two or three years if you take care of it and know how to revive your uh, your wigs. But yeah. It comes with the lace. The lace was a uh, medium brown tint, so I didn't go in with any even lace spray this time around. But you can if you like to, if, if your skin tone is a little bit lighter than mine, to kind of make it melt in, um, and fit into your skin tone. But it does come with baby hairs on the side. Um, I was having a little bit of a hard time with those this time around because... I laid them down, but then I didn't like how they laid and they dried up, and then I had to relay them. So um, 
this side is pretty decent but um i didn't like the other side but you know you can do them how you want to and um the hair is not dry looking it has a nice sheen but over time i do feel like this one can look very dull and dry so just keep that in mind make sure you use some um you know uh mousse or whatever some type of moisturizer to get that uh luster back i'm gonna give you a 360 i'm gonna put all that hair to the front again ladies <laughs> wow like oh my goodness but if you like a lot of hair go for it like wear it all to the front i mean whatever wear it all down like it was just too much so i just put it like back like this but yeah here's all the hair to the front side back so definitely if you're looking for like a crochet type of hairstyle this will be the one to go to because it has those uh twists that only stop midway and then you have the rest of the hair down which gives it like a like a you know crochet look it doesn't look bad the part is pretty decent it's not like slim where you you know it just doesn't look natural but you get a generous uh part and it goes up down a little further it's about a four and a half inch part so not too bad and so um the colors you get with this one is one one b two um i think that one would be pretty even though this looks like a jet black that one would probably be looks looks so pretty and then you get the t1b27 with the dark roots and the 27 at the bottom you get the t1b30 dark roots then 30 t1b uh, bg dark roots burgundy t1b pink dark roots pink and then the uh tb t1b uh red and wine which is dark roots and then um wine now the dark roots are not like pitch black like this but um they're a little like darker as you can see it's a little bit like i would say a four rather than a 1b so just keep that in mind if you do want to purchase those different colors so um i'm going to read their statements that they're claiming on here uh, the benefits that it says is pre-styled and ready to wear. So it is pre-styled. Um, it's already braided up for you. You don't have to wait in the shop and get your hair pulled and tugged on or whatever. Um, you don't have to wait for hours. You put it on and go pretty much in like five minutes and you're out the door. That's what I love about these braided and twisted units. Uh, four inch deep lace part. So yeah, it's a four uh, inch deep part. So really good it does come with baby hairs not free braids so they're not free um pretty stretched uh i think they're talking about the cap but the cap does not stretch in my opinion it's not like a lot of stretch it may be a tad bit of stretch but when i pulled on the cap it was not a lot of stretch no irritations or odors no odors to this one it smelled decent i mean it didn't have like a good smelling smell but it didn't smell horrible either it's just regular synthetic hair um breathable fabric yes it is maximum comfort yes this cap is very very comfortable and so i'm gonna go ahead and style this unit for you guys so you can see what you can do with it i really do highly suggest this one if you want to wear it like this and i'll give you a few more styles again like i said at the end so you can kind of see what you want to do with it and i'll put some jewels on it and everything kind of spruce it up for you guys and i'll see you guys later give me a big fat thumbs up for this video like comment and subscribe down below bye bye